When it comes to pronouns, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim, فَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُ الزَّوْجَيْنِ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, He said, we created from it, from the, the, the joining of the male and female fluid, we created from, from, from it, زَوْجَيْنِ, two mates, ذَكَرْ وَأُنْثَى, male and female. Alhamdulillah, right? And in the English language, there are three pronouns that refer to singular, singular, uh, uh, singular beings, right? Two of them refers to beings with uh, beings that are living, and the third refers to beings that are not living, right? He and she refers to beings that are living, i.e., the two mates that Allah created, and it refers to beings that uh, are are. Um, I have no intellect that that's not non-living that's not like a tree uh the seven seas um whatever mind what rhymes with seven seas tree seven seas me but i'm living alhamdulillah but anyways to go back to my point therefore the conclusion is my point is that to say that a male and a female can be can be attributed with another pronoun, right? That's ambiguous, that shows that there's a mix or some sort of uh, fluidity. This goes against the Quran al Karim. So, therefore, male and female, uh, those are the only two, uh, alhamdulillah, um, genders. And gender and sex is interti intertwined, just like how the soul and the, uh, the, soul and the body are intertwined alhamdulillah rabbil alameen so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen inshallah the matter is clear you can only be one or the other zawjain right two mates a dhakr male or female in other words he or she and any and muslims beware of this trap of shaitan of the devil uh, you know those who are confused about it try to guide them and inshallah hopefully they'll be guided uh, but you stick to the quran walhamdulillah rabbil alameen May Allah guide us and protect us. Allahumma amin. Peace.